Hey there! Let me introduce you to this Atari SH204. It is the first hard disk that was created by Atari for the ST line and it has 20 megabytes of storage. Yes, you heard it correctly, megabytes. I will show you how to install it and get it working on the Atari 1040 STF computer. A while back, I was lucky to acquire this hard disk that was in its original undamaged box in mint condition. It is protected by a thick foam and it includes a connection cable, a boot disk and a manual. The hard disk itself is rather heavy and bulky, designed in the form of a shoebox. It has never been opened and still has the original unbroken seal on the side. The power and the DSUB19 data connectors are on the back. It also includes the standard Atari ST grey power cable. We will start the installation by connecting the data cable from the Atari hard disk port to the back of the SH204 and of course by turning it on. Back in the day I never owned an Atari hard disk and had no idea how to install it, so I had to consult the manual. On page 10 it starts explaining the installation procedure. First you need to boot the Atari ST with the provided disk. After the Gem desktop shows up, execute the HDX program. Inside the disk menu select format, then you can select the shaded box specifying unit 0. It is the only one that can be formatted. Then select the SH204 type and click yes. In the modern days we are used to first partition the disk and then format it, but as you can see this used to be different. After the format is finished, we can select the partition menu item. Again, we select unit 0 here and we can then specify the partition sizes or select a pre-configured one inside this menu. I have selected 416 division. So this means that drive C will be 4 megabytes and drive D will be 16 megabytes in size. Select yes and we are done. To check if the partitions are created as expected, we can go back to the partition menu item and see it there. After we reboot the computer, with the boot disk still inserted, we can add the drive letters C and D to check if they are accessible. And luckily, that is the case. Next to the boot disk, we will need the AHDI tools version 5.0, which stands for Atari Advanced Hard Disk Utilities. I have tried version 6 and it would not work on the SH204. Maybe there are other tools that work, but I haven't found them. You can download a disk image of these tools from various websites. There are multiple ways to get the files on the floppy disk, but the best way is to use the floppy imaging and file transfer program. I will place a link where to download it in the description of this video. AHDI tools have a program called hinstall.prg that will let us make the hard disk bootable. The original SH204 boot disk does not offer this tool. This program is located inside the H install folder. After executing it, we select install from the file menu and choose the logical drive C. That is all we need to do to make the hard disk bootable. After removing the floppy disk from the drive and rebooting the computer, it takes a short while for the boot sequence to kick in. 
we can now configure the desktop the way we want to look after each boot sequence. I will be probably installing programs and not games on the hard disk, so I have changed the resolution to medium to have more space on the desktop. Now we can add the D hard disk drive and rearrange the window positions. Notice that drive C has also the hard disk driver file called sadriver.sys. To remember our changes, we need to save our desktop. This is located under the options menu. Atari ST uses the file called desktop.inf to store the arrangement of the desktop. When we now boot the Atari ST, our drives, resolution and the Windows arrangement are recalled. That is all for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and leave comments if you have any questions or remarks. Consider subscribing to my channel and enable notifications to see similar videos in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.